Hi, welcome to Tutorials Point and we're going to discuss the history tool. So let's go ahead and learn this tool better. The history tool is used to restore a portion of an image to an earlier state while leaving the rest of the modified image alone. So for instance, you are working on an image and you won't wish you have done an effect but you don't like that effect on a particular option. Say you were basically working with the spot healing brush and while correcting the blemishes you've actually gone ahead and actually worked on any area maybe the lips or the eyes but you don't want that effect to remain on that area. So you can switch the art the history button and can start painting over your lips or the eye area to, the rem to remove the effect that you just created. So the hotkey is Y. When you press Y on your keyboard key, this history tool is activated. You can change the number of undo states by going through the preferences in the edit menu in Windows and Photoshop in Mac. So you can go ahead and change the number of undo states. By default it's 20, but you can go ahead, do it to 30, 40, whatever. Also, you can click in the far right column of the state and you can change the source of the history brush tool. So let's go ahead and understand the history tool better. History brush in Photoshop lets me go back to a previous state. So let me show you how. So this is my image with a woman with a lot of blemishes and I'm just going to show you in what cases you can use, a, you know, use this history brush. Now, so this is my uh, normal layer. I converted to a normal layer and I've done a copy here. Now, let me select this, my healing brush tool, the spot healing brush tool to actually remove the blemishes. So this is such a big brush and so I can just keep doing it and my blemishes are removed. So this is a brush, spot healing brush can help us remove the blemishes. It just samples the textures around and help me remove the spots. So in case while I was going around and I've done most of my image, but just in case I somehow went here, I was just working around my lip and I somehow just went here. I was going fast and I just went here and it actually ruined my picture. So if I go back to my previous states, I will lose these touch ups and I'll have to go again. If I just do control all Z, which I can, but I'm going to go too far. I just want this part should be, you know, go back to the normal state, but I don't want to affect this normal state. In normal case, we, like I said, we'll do a control or Z and go back to the previous state, but I'm talking about this particular state, not these states. So what I'm going to do, and after this, I've gone further. I've gone further. I don't want to disturb my other state. It's just the lips that I want to work on with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the history brush from here which has a shortcut tool of Y and I'm going to quickly paint here with my mouse selected. So you can see, so if there is one thing I want to go back to, I do not need to stop others. So I've gone a lot of editing and I don't want to do control Z because I don't want to disturb my other things. So I can just simply go to the particular area, brush it like a normal brush tool. Also you can work, you know, reduce the opacity like a normal brush tool. You can reduce this flow. And uh, we also have this properties. You can go to Windows and press on History and you can also go back to the state. So you can just go back to a particular state if you wish to. So the History Brush comes very handy when you want to go to a particular state. So when in case in future you made a mistake on just one part, you can go ahead and use this History tool.